Parkland activist Cameron Caskey comes out, quote, I want to be straight. Excuse me, I wanted to be straight, end quote. Cameron Caskey, a gun control activist and survivor of 2018's mass shooting of Parkland, Florida's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, came out in a letter tweeted this week. Caskey emerged as one of the most prominent survivors of the massacre, which killed 17 of his classmates, along with other students that included out Parkland survivor X Gonzalez, Caskey helped organize the 2018 March for Our, Our Lives Gun Control Rally in Washington, D.C. In his tweet, he said, quote, I don't know what type of queer I am, and I'm finally okay with that. Why? Maybe. I don't know, man. The journey towards self-acceptance is one I have been on for years now, but the most difficult aspect has been searching for meaning in sexual identity when there truly is none, at least not for me. I've wanted to be straight for so long. A straight guy who's done some gay stuff here and there. There's so much security in heterosexuality, end quote. The activists also talked about the stigma of being bisexual or demisexual, the latter of which describes sexual attraction that only corresponds with emotional attachment. Caskey described being told by white gay men that bisexuality and demisexuality are illegitimate. Quote, bisexual men are told they're just gay but afraid to admit it, and bisexual women are told they're just straight and having a little fun. We need this to change forever, end quote. Well, um, I guess I will be having fun for a very, very long time. <laughs> uh, so maybe you're into Same the ride. Geez. All right. Uh, kudos, kudos to this kid for coming out. I mean, he's 20 years old, and what he's been through, I mean, he's a survivor of the Parkland, uh, the Parkland horrible mm -hmm. you know, event that occurred. And look, you know, he's like, hey, I'm out. This is what it is. Uh, respect me for who I am, and I'm going to take the lead on this, just like he did when it came to that gun control rally. You know, I mean... God, so much. I mean, our future is there, you know? It's, it's I know. amazing. Um, you know, I think back when I was in high school, which was not that long ago, you know, she did rob the cradle. Ah! You know, I, I think back when I was in high school, and, and I don't remember, you know, young people having the ability or wanting, having the desire to really come out at that time. You know, and it's amazing to see these teenagers who are coming out and identifying themselves and, you know, mm -hmm. coming out of the closet. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's amazing to see because we were very hidden for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah we we didn't want to be that. Like, yeah. it, that, like you know, the quote there to be straight. That was my entire life. I was like, why? I don't want to be gay. Like, it's just. It's just an attraction that I have, but I'm definitely going to get married and have kids with yeah. a woman. Like, that was my thought process. Yeah. So it becomes harder to live your life truthfully when your father, your, your, well, your parents, your family, your surroundings are kind of making you feel this intense pressure to be straight. It's like right. And I think yeah. I, it, someone like him coming out really encourages other teenagers um, mm -hmm. and even yeah. adults yeah. to come out and say, you know what? I don't know what I am. I may be gay, I may be bi, I may be demisexual, that's the first time I've ever heard that term, but I may be whatever I am, but I am who I am. And that's I, okay. And that's, and that's okay. okay. And I think that's what, what you said is very powerful in that he's talking about this idea of that, you know, there's a spectrum. There's not a mm -hmm. right way or a wrong way or like you have to be here or you have to be there. No, there's absolutely. a spectrum, right? And so anywhere that you fall is still okay. It's very uh, well thought out words that he said because it's encouraging wherever you fall on that spectrum completely fine yeah. you're yeah. still gonna you know um uh to mr gasky or gasky um we can be led by very young people and i wish i was nearly as bright as you are at this age uh, when i was your age i, I wish, wish you were that bright now Alan. yeah <laughs> there is was, some truth to that there is faith. some truth to, uh of the national march um uh, uh post parkland in washington and i watched your almost genius in how you helped orchestrate uh, that moment. Not to the conclusion that you wanted, but keep fighting and keep fighting. And as a person who is violence, one of my best friends from Pulse uh, was killed. I always say his name when I talk about it, Eddie Sotomayor. You represented all of your classmates uh, at Parkland. You represented uh, the Parkland community. You represented all of us in Broward County and South Florida. And ultimately when you did that march, and uh, that, uh, that rally in Washington, you represented all of America. And you're to be congratulated on what you did. And this is just one more step of how you're going to lead and lead even our LGBTQ community and how we define what we think about our community. Congratulations to you. Well said. well said. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our world as a whole. 
We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBT community.